few months ago, I visited the United States of America and did some traveling in the Southeast States. On one occasion, I traveled over from Atlanta to Nashville before heading east again. And what I didn't realize when I got to Nashville is that we had traveled through a time zone. And when I did realize, I didn't think to change the time settings on the camera. So all of the photos that I took in Nashville have the wrong time stamped onto them. Well, thankfully, the organizer in Photoshop Elements 11 lets us adjust the date and time of the photograph. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. So first of all, we need to identify the images I shot whilst in Nashville so we know which ones are in need of a change. Now, it doesn't prove too difficult when working with 21 photos, but if we had thousands, then it might be a little more challenging. So I'm going to get some help from the organizer to properly identify the images I shot in Nashville. So come up here to the Find menu and then come down and select by details and then in brackets metadata which will bring up a very convenient dialog box and I'm going to make sure the second of these search options is active because I'm going to use two rules to search for the files I want so let's click the first drop down menu to decide the metadata we want to use to find the photographs and I'll choose capture date from the menu like so and then I'll choose is after and I'll go ahead and choose the 31st of August 2012 that's going to display all the photographs that I took after that date however I want an exact date or, or an exact range of dates I should say so I'll add another rule to search by to do that I'll click the plus icon once again choose the capture date as my search method like so and this time I'll choose is before and then I'll enter the date of the 3rd of the 9th 2012 just like so. So we're now searching for images in our catalogue taken after the 31st of August but before the 3rd of September and if we wanted to save that criteria I could do so down here but I probably won't ever be using a search like this again so I'll just select search and see what we get straight away up come four images I shot whilst in Nashville luckily though I knew the dates that I was in Nashville that's how I was able to complete this search so successfully and four images that require a change of time so that we can accommodate for the time difference between Nashville and everywhere else on my trip so if we want to make a change to all four images we need to make sure that we have all four active and to do that I'm simply going to drag over all four of them like so just as if we were selecting items on our desktop for example now another thing I'm going to do before we change any times here is just to get a bearing of what time they're actually currently set to a great way of doing that is to get elements to display the capture date and the time beneath each thumbnail which is possible by coming up here to the view menu and then choosing the details option just like so. We can now easily keep track of what's happening with our time settings as we work through the date and time options. So okay let's get to work. I'll come up here to the edit menu and then I'll come down to this command adjust date and time of selected items and we get presented with this very small but very powerful dialog box. We get a few different options but we need this bottom one shift by set number of hours and it even refers to a time zone adjust because it's such a common mistake for both amateur and professional photographers so if you've done this you're not alone trust me. So I'll select it and I'll hit OK and now I'm being asked how many hours I want to change by well bear in mind that I've already adjusted these photographs to Eastern Standard Time which is five hours behind GMT when I visited Nashville I fell six hours behind GMT or one hour behind the Eastern Standard Time adjustment I'd already set up so I need to go back an additional hour to get the times correct so I'll make sure that I have back active so that we're heading in the right direction at least and then I'll make sure that the figure is set to 1 and then I'll click OK 
and as you can see the times are corrected and it kind of feels like the earth and the moon are aligned again and all is right in the world. I'm going to click the back button at the top to go back to our view of all the media we currently have imported into the organizer and finally I'm going to get rid of those dates and times by coming back up to the view menu and selecting details once more and that's going to give us much more screen space for the upcoming tutorials. Well that's the end of chapter 2. Coming up inside the next chapter we'll look at managing the media we've got through importing over the last few videos. Stay tuned.